afternoon everyone. I'm Steve White. Like a lot of you here, I imagine, I knew Roger through Glastonwick, a shared love of righteous football, righteous ale, and righteous music. And with that, let's make a start. Three hundred and fifty million for the NHS. Not just a better life, one of the best. Cause no one actually thinks that your offer does anything else but stink. But it's made all the headlines in all the right places. And that's what we're gonna believe. Cause who needs facts? That's what he said. Who needs facts? That's what he said. Cause I'm fed up with your experts, your opinions, and your articles. In fact, you're better read. Like your facts are dead. Dirt day, he stuck his dicky in a piggy's head. There was no room for facts once it was read. That's what we're gonna believe And who needs facts? That's what he said Yeah, who needs facts? That's what he said Cause I'm fed up with your experts, your opinions and your articles The facts you're better read Mate, your facts are dead my facts are better than your facts. 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 Stick a pony in your pocket. I'll get a suitcase from the van. Cause if you want the best, then you don't ask questions. Then, brother, I'm your man. Cause where it all comes from is a mystery. It's like the changing of the seasons and the tides of the sea. So here's the one that's driving me berserk What do only fools and horses work can My facts are better than your facts My facts are better than your facts My facts are better than your facts and That's what I'm gonna believe When Jeremy sat on the floor of a crowded train Oh no he didn't was the refrain And history repeats When Richard says there are loads of seats And it made all the headlines in all the right places And that's what we're gonna believe Bruce is live Cause who needs facts? That's what he said Yeah, who needs facts? That's what he said Get I'm fed up with your experts, your opinions and your articles The fact you're better read Make your facts are dead La 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 Make your facts are dead British fish for British plates. British hates for British mates. Here's the church and here's the steeple. British cheese for British people. British trawlers for British waters. British sons for British daughters. British deals for British steel. British out for a British meal. Here's the church and here's the steeple. British cheese for British people. British jobs for British workers, British shirks for British shirkers, British porridge for British oats, British votes for British scrotes, British films for British viewers, British kebabs on British skewers. Here's the church and here's the steeple. British cheese for British people. 
British taxis for British ranks, British porn for British wanks, British challenges for British tanks, British crashes for British banks, British streets for British homeless, British hope for British hopeless, British disease for British diagnosis, British psyche for British psychosis. Here's the church and here's the steeple. British cheese for British people. Each used to selling you steak. Each used to selling you real estate. Let's try and make America great. Land of the free. Dr. Trump is the invisible killer. Dr. Trump's gonna kill it quicker. Dr. Trump's got all the medicine that you need. Yeah, he's got sunshine and disinfectant. He's selling you sunshine and disinfectant. He's telling you sunshine and disinfectant for your COVID needs. He's used to selling the brand. There's Trump label buildings throughout the land. He's trying to make America grand. Land of the free. Gonna kill it quicker. Dr. Trump's got all the medicine that you need. Yeah, he's got sunshine and disinfectant. He's telling you sunshine and disinfectant. He's telling you sunshine and disinfectant for your COVID needs. So inject yourself with disinfectant. Get yourself a dose of hydroxychloroquine. Give yourself a blaster. You need like to be free. Sunshine and disinfectant, he's telling you sunshine and disinfectant, he's telling you sunshine and disinfectant for your COVID needs, for all your COVID needs, for all your COVID needs. This ship is lost at sea, and Spaffer's wearing the captain's hat. He needed help with the charts, but he was never interested in all of that. He simply expected to point, and somehow the ship would just go that way. He always figured that the details could wait for another day. Now this ship is lost at sea, and the crew are hungry and tired. Because it turns out to be the hat, not the ship, that Spaffer truly desired. The Spaffer and Allegra were bright young things, also future queens and kings. It wasn't long until they'd exchanged dreams, but while he was seen her, along came Marina. Spaffer fixed his bayonet and went over the top. Now Marina gave him daughters, Marina gave him sons. Laura and Milo were the first ones. Marina must have thought that she was the one. They ain't that kind of fella. And along came Petronella. Spaffer fixed his bayonet and went over the top. Him out but soon had him back. Spafford must have thought it one hell of a crack. She'd have more fend off than a single attack. Because actually, along came Anna for Sackley. Spafford fixed his pain head and went over the top. Two more with Marina, Cassie and Theodore. For those keeping count, that makes four. But Spaffer slipped one stay on the ground floor and soon along came Helen and he refixed his weapon. Spaffer fixed his bayonet and went over the top. Now Helen was the latest focus. 
Angus, a piece of production for which Stephanie was born he tried to seek an injunction. He didn't want the public aware of their production and Marina was yet to discover and as yet unnamed lover. As Papa fixed his bayonet and went over the top. Spaffer weren't about to take a break from play No rumours of another child remain vague It's a subject on which she has little to say But while he's still married It's time to introduce Carrie Spaffer fixed his brain and went over the top Now Spaffer's hoping things are the kids with reconcile And Carrie is the mother of his latest child Thinking this must be the end of his days being wild But the question on everyone's mind is How long till the next time That spatter fits his penis And goes over the top Yeah, spatter fits his penis And goes over the top Spatter just can't stop The Daily Mail's not very nice. Their front page calls for sacrifice. As the author of this piece implies, that they require a teacher dies. Like Sarah Baxter in The Times, whose journalistic crimes set her apart from other writers when she accused the firefighters at Grenfell of not acting bravely, but being obsessed with health and safety. Her reasoning as supplies was that not a single one had died. As for the male's call to glory, economics drives this story and not the benefits to children or the risks to those who teach them, many of whom, despite all this, have been at work throughout the crisis, as there's no ruling that forbids the schooling of key workers' kids. The lesson is, as ever, clear. Teachers, hold your union dear and be around to tell the tale of how you be the Daily Mail. Here comes Mr. Superior, here comes Mr. Slightly Shocked, here comes Mr. Christmas Hangover, here comes Mr. Bash the Fox, here comes Mr. Green Kimono, here comes Mr. Property, here comes Mr. Tooth and Claw, here comes Mr. Atrocity, oh yeah, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox. Emily's mum put down the cats Walter Palmer killed Cecil the lion Now here comes a lawyer with a baseball bat Oh yeah Jolly and the Fox Jolly and the Fox Jolly and the Fox Oh yeah And here comes Mr Superior here comes Mr. Bludgeon into death. Here comes Mr. Deverett Chambers. Here comes Mr. Fox's last breath. Here comes Mr. Waiting for Tax. Here comes Mr. Sorry about that. Here comes Mr. Defender of Chickens. Here comes a lawyer with the baseball bat. Oh yeah. Jolly and Fox. Jolly and Fox. Jolly and Fox. Cause Hessel Tide Strangle. His mum's dog, Emily's mum, put down the cats. Walter Palmer killed Cecil the lion. Now here comes a lawyer with the baseball bat. Oh yeah, Jolly and the Fox. Jolly and the Fox. Jolly and the Fox. Curtis has some tight strangled. His mum's dog, Emily's mum, put down the cats. Walter Palmer killed Cecil the lion. Now here comes a lawyer with a baseball bat. Oh yeah. Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox, oh yeah, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox, Jolly and the Fox. we know a song about
Week after week, they clapped their hands and banged their pans from rainbow bedecked windows and cars and vans. Hundreds of thousands, acting with care, thought and precision, led to this decision. The NHS saved my life, Spaffer said. But what he meant was all they're worth to him is 1%. And Hancock, responsible personally to the horse-raising horse fraternity, pays tribute with words, his deep pockets reserved for contracts for corporate chums. Get out there and tell them you saved lives, he said. But what he meant was all they're worth to him is 1%. Nadine, I'm a former nurse, me, Doris, the first COVID MP, seeks to defend the economy, never surprised by an MP's pay rise, but with Rishi is in accord that this is all they can afford, while recognising sacrifice, commitment and vocation, tells the nation what she meant was all they're worth to her is 1%. When they tell you level up, what do they mean? The numbers dead hid behind a vaccination screen. No money for heroic nurses pay when Dido's folly costs a million pounds a day. There is a simple message delivered in this verse. Next time, clap a Tory, pay a nurse. Zorro, the Lone Ranger, fan of early opera, Darth Vader, Batman, but Batgirls is better, Wolverine, Grief of Vendetta, Optimus Prime and Leatherface, Stanley kisses his pretty eyes. Should I be wearing a mask? Zorro, the Lone Ranger, fan of early opera, Darth Vader, Batman, but Batgirls is better, Wolverine. Viva Vendetta, Optimus Prime and Leatherface Stanley Ickes is his pretty eyes Should I be wearing a mask? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raffles is red, Donatello's is purple Leonardo, Michelangelo The Green Hornet and Kato too Mexican wrestlers, Wonder Woman Spider-Man could, but Peter Pop couldn't Should I be wearing a mask? Zorro, the Lone Ranger, fan of the opera, Darth Vader, Batman, but Batgirls is better, Wolverine, Greek Avenger, Optimus Prime and Leatherface, Stanley Ickes is his pretty eyes. Shall I be wearing a mask? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raffles is red, Donatello's is purple, Leonardo, Michelangelo, the Green Horn, Mick and Kato too. Mexican wrestlers, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man could, but Peter Pop couldn't. Should I be wearing a mask? Catwoman, Doctor Doom, Hannibal Lecter, Ghostface 2, Billy Bagascony, the Jigsaw Killer, but not Michael Jackson, in Thriller, Captain America, The Flash and Highwaymen wore theirs for cash. Should I be wearing a mask? Should I be wearing a mask? Should I be wearing a mask? Cheers everyone, wear your masks, stay safe, see you soon, and cheers Roger.